In this video, I'll be discussing James Mark Baldwin, who was an American philosopher and psychologist. Baldwin made many Im important contributions to early psychology and the theory of evolution. James was the son of Cyrus and Lydia Baldwin, who was born in South Carolina on January 12th in 1861. Unfortunately, he passed away 73 years later in Paris on November 8, 1934. Here is a timeline of Baldwin's life that will be discussed in further detail. Baldwin was heavily influenced by Wilhelm Wundt, who is known as the father of experimental psychology. In 1884, Baldwin was able to spend a semester in Leminitz, Germany. In Germany, he attended lectures by Wundt and served as an experimental subject in the newly established psychological laboratory. In 1885, Baldwin's career began at Princeton University as a French and German instructor. From there, he moved to Canada to work at the University of Toronto. What prompted Baldwin's move to Toronto? was when he published his first handbook of psychology discussing senses and intellect. This directed attention to the new experimental psychology of Ernest Weber, Gustav Fechner, and Wilhelm Wundt. In 1889, this publication offered him a chair of logic and metaphysics at the University of Toronto. Also in 1889, Along with his first publication of his handbook, his interest in studies of infant behavior came about. In Toronto, where Baldwin taught philosophy, he established the first psychological laboratory in Canada in 1891. The lab had two main purposes, which was for the use of the undergraduate courses in psychology and to be a center for advanced research in the new line of experimental work. In Toronto, where he completed his second column of his handbook called Feeling and Will, and started a classical studies of experimental studies of infant behavior, which was the start of Baldwin's work towards the evolutionary developmental perspective on the mind for which he is greatly remembered for. After Toronto, Baldwin returned to Princeton in 1893. He established his second psychological laboratory and decided he would go over the literature on biological and mental evolution. This led to his two most important theoretical contributions related to the evolutionary mechanisms, which was ontogenetic and phylogenetic. Ontogenetic is the study of the psychological aspects of the biological development of the individual, as opposed to that of the species. Phylogenetic are studies focused on the evolution and change of species throughout time, and how similar species are connected through genetics and evolutionary time. In 1903, he went to be a professor of philosophy and psychology at Johns Hopkins University of Baltimore. This is where he reopened an experimental lab that was previously founded in 1884 by Granville Stanley Hall. In Baltimore, he worked on Thoughts and Things, a study of development and meaning of thought or genetic logic that was published in 1906. In 1908, at the highest point in Baldwin's academic career, he was arrested in a prostitution house in Baltimore. This arrest led to his resignation at Hopkins. After his arrest, Baldwin traveled between Paris and Mexico City, where he taught at the School of Higher Studies in the National University. After teaching at Mexico for five years, Baldwin made a permanent move to Paris, where he remained until his death in 1934. Baldwin's interest in developmental psychology 
started with the birth of his first daughter, Helen, in 1889. This inspired him to conduct quantitative and experimental research on infant development. And at this time, the study of children's behavior relied on naturalistic observations and questionnaires. This is where Baldwin introduced experimental method into the study of infant behavior. His first experiments were used to explore the conditions under which reaching with one or two hands occur between the baby's fourth and tenth month. In the study, the objects, color, distance, direction, and child's position were all systematically manipulated. In order to quantify and record variation in reaching distance, the stimuli were on a set of sliding rods, and the experiments were always carried out at the same time of day. What his results showed was that there was an optimal reaching distance at 9 to 10 inches, a greater number of two-handed reaching, and right-hand preference showing when the child was presented with brightly colored objects at a distance that was slightly beyond their reach. Although Baldwin found interesting results, the value of his work was the fact that his methods were experimental, controlled, quantitative, with a specific research design, and a focus on a specific type of behavior. Baldwin had a great influence on developmental psychology. He proposed the stage theory of development that was later advanced by Jean Piaget when he developed the four stages of cognitive development that is shown in the image presented on the right. Baldwin's stepwise theory of cognitive development was based on his interpretations of the observable data in his experimental studies of infant reaching and its role in mental development. Baldwin proposed that mental development of a child is parallel with physical development, and he thought that children learn behaviors in steps. Mental development in the child and the race, methods and processes, was published in 1895. This book later made a strong impact on Jean Piaget and Lawrence Kohlberg. In this book, he proposed a biosocial theory of the mind. In this theory, he argues that all organisms are characterized by a dynamogenous tendency to relate to stimuli by acting on them. Baldwin thought that mental development was a process that involved habit and accommodations. Habit is the ability to repeat what was successful in the past and accommodations are processes that alter habit to incorporate new possibilities for action. A question that came up in his research was how are actions modified in relation to environmental change? Baldwin answered this question by saying, accommodations serve to maintain contact with a desirable stimulation and minimize contact with an undesirable stimulation. Modification of action takes place through a circular process which he terms organic selection. Baldwin's most important theoretical legacy was the concept of the Baldwin effect, or also known as the Baldwinian evolution. The Baldwin effect is an evolutionary mechanism which transforms an acquired trait into an instinctive trait by the ways of natural selection. He emphasizes that sustained behaviors of a species can shape the evolution of that species. It was proposed that initial ability that one obtains by learning are eventually replaced by the evolution of a genetically determined systems that do not require learning. This means that learned behaviors will become instinctive behaviors in following generations. As an example, Think of a species that is threatened by a new predator, and that there is a behavior that makes it more difficult for the predator to catch the prey. The prey who learn the behavior more quickly will be at an advantage. As time goes on, the ability to learn the behavior will improve by genetic selection, and at some point it will seem to be an instinct. As shown on the side diagram, Baldwin thought that a changed environment 
needs changed behaviors, which need to be learned. This will lead to natural selection that results in what we call evolution. As discussed in this video, James Mark Baldwin was a great philosopher and psychologist of his time. He made many important contributions to early psychology and the theory of evolution. Thanks for watching.